All right, in this video, we're going to continue on with the design and layout of our uh, custom FIR filter with the verification flow. Now, remember, we could have verified this in the Innovus design system, but we're going to be importing this in for a mixed signal design in ADS anyhow, and so we're, sorry, in Cadence anyhow, and so we're going to use the Cadence verification flow. Uh, to do that, we're going to use uh, a tool they call Pegasus, and we're going to go to Run DRC. All right, I've got a DRC preset here uh, loaded. Uh, some of these can get relatively sophisticated. In this case, it's not very sophisticated. The primary things that we have are a run directory. Uh, I have this in uh, a DRC folder that's nested uh, in my particular library. And then I'm pointing to a rules file, and that's really it. We can change uh, some other things if we like to, uh, for instance, uh, where it's finding or whether it's creating a GDS, where it's putting the GDS, uh, and what types of outputs we might have. But for the most part, the defaults will work on these particular things. And so for now, I'm going to go ahead and hit submit, and it's going to run this job. Uh, in this case, uh, I already have a DRC that I run, so it's going to overwrite it first. All right, this will generally take a few minutes depending upon the type of uh, compute uh, that you're running this on. Uh, so we'll come back as soon as this is finished. All right, as you can see, the DRC ran uh, and we have some uh, issues to look into. Now, many of these things can be ignored. Uh, you can see, first of all, that there were 486 uh, messages that were uh, brought up as part of this process. Some of these things, if they say .dn, this usually means a dot .density check. Uh, we can ignore those at this point because uh, we will fill the chip later on. In this particular case, this is a, an AP dot .density, so it's a particular metal layer with a density error. Again, we'll check that later on. Uh, most of these .rs we can also ignore. Um, the main things that we need to focus on are things like the .en, .s, and .w rules. Those are enclosure spacing and width rules, and we will have to fix those before we proceed. Uh, to see uh, what we can do with this, for instance, you can click on a particular error. We're not going to go into any details on this, uh, but uh, we can click the error. We can double click on it in the uh, message window here, uh, and it will zoom in to highlight whatever the problem is. Now we know that this is a metal one problem. Uh, so for instance, uh, you can see here that it doesn't like the fact that the via is not completely enclosed on one side. Okay, so one of the things that we expect here is that we don't have too many design rule uh, violations because the tool itself should be making sure that most of these are clean. Uh, I did mention, of course, that we could uh, clean these up using uh, the Innovus tool as well. Uh, and maybe in a subsequent video, I'll show you how to clean uh, any errors up using uh, the Innovus tool. 
Uh, the next thing that we'll do uh, after this is we will go through the layout versus schematic verification. Uh, we, we will make sure that the layout matches the schematic. And we'll do that in the next video.